Yo, yo, what is happening? This is Rowan from Optimize Effects. Welcome to a midweek update. I am just going to quickly go through the portfolio on my FX book first and let's get into it. So as you can see, we can see the graph and uh, Baby Shark has had a huge move up uh, in profits, of course, uh, uh, for closely followed by Dragon Expert. Now, Dragon Expert, I have added two more pairs We'll get that. We'll get to the chart in a minute, and we'll have a look at that. Uh, but I've added the other two pairs that it recommends to add. Uh, yeah, a little bit less equity than we than we hoped, but uh, we'll see how it handles it. It is trading 24/7, so we should see it start to um, catch up to Bunny. But Bunny, uh, Baby Shark, sorry, Baby Shark is definitely on a mission to the moon. Uh, it's going to hit that 5k mark soon. So. And uh, the other one that's been really interesting is Fury. Now, um, it's it's moving on up real quick too. So I should uh, each each time it goes goes up or goes down, it's like a, a set of trades, I guess. So some trades are bigger than others, some profit more profitable, some are less. Uh, then we have the the Irons three pair, which um, has really amazed me. It's only been going for like a little less than two weeks. And it has uh, it's up 80% already, so uh, yeah, we'll definitely have a look at that. Um, but there's not really much else to talk about except for Bunny. Now, if you have a look at Bunny, Bunny's losing money, and um, I think the main reason being is that this I've I've got it on an account that um, has a standard spread. It's not a raw spread account, so Bunny's not taking into the consideration of the spread being definitely wider and moving around. Uh, than it would, what it would be on like a raw spread or a, a zero spread account. Uh, and I think that is why it's losing money. So, uh, but we'll have a look at that soon. Now, uh, we have uh, EA Scalper Orion, which is almost at 50% gain. Uh, Dragon Expert uh, is at 310% gain. Irons, uh, Irons, this is one that I started a few weeks ago uh, on well, Irons Dragon. On the three pairs running 24/7 on 5k, uh, so it's made 1,382 since I started it. So uh, it's going really, really well. Uh, Baby Shark 372%, and uh, you know the max drawdown drawdown is still 53%, which is what happened in like the first two weeks. Uh, it hasn't not uh, got any more than that, which is amazing. Um, EA Sky Blue, I've fixed that one up, so it's made $33. Not a heap of money, but uh, it's only been going for a few weeks. Uh, Bunny, it does show that it is in profit, but it's actually not. It just hasn't updated. Stabilizer up 30%, and a drawdown of 7.73%. So that's really going, that's going well. Uh, PFX, I think maybe it's running too many pairs, but... Um, the drawdown is up about $400 now, so I'm not sure if this is correct or not. Uh, we'll have a look. Uh, grid Trend Multiplier, it is still going. Uh, it's made 38%, but it has a little bit of drawdown. We'll have a look at that as well. Uh, no Sleep is slowly making its money back. Probably should have got rid of it a long time ago, but it is it is making money, so uh, we'll see. Erin, see, this is the other one. Uh, so 80, up 86%, and it's only been going since, I think, the 9th or the 7th of this month. And it's now the 18th, so that's really amazing. And uh, Forex Fury is up 1,785. So uh, we'll start with EA Sky Blue. And it is running, I think, the, just Euro USD, and this is all just standard settings. And uh, it's made $40. Bunny, this is one where I think it has a wide spread. Now, I might be able to check it if I have it in here. There should be a spread. Yeah, look at that. Bingo. So the spread is <laughs> at zero points. I don't know why it's losing money. I'm not sure. But it says $9.67, but when you look at our account history... They're all Euro USD uh, from the 15th, but we're at a $59 loss, so I'm not exactly sure 
what's going on with Bunny White's losing money. So, well, I'll have a look into it. The other one is uh, Stabilizer. There's not really much to see here, but uh, it is. This is turbo mode, and it is a. There's a risk limit of fifty percent, and auto risk is on, so it's risking its own. Uh, own money, or the own lot sizes, I should say. So yeah, the lot sizes are getting bigger, uh, as we can see there. So eight. Oh, this is by a lot by size. Sorry, let's have a look by time. That's the wrong way. So the last trades, uh, you know, it's starts with zero point zero one, but it goes to two and then four. I'd see. And if it hits four, then it activates it, but it hasn't uh, quite a few times there. No sleep uh, is the one that is slowly making its money back. Scalper Orion uh, is is still trading. It has it's actually adding to its buys, which is really interesting. It's actually uh, adding positions whilst the position is going into profit. So that's a, that's a good strategy. And this is PFX. Now I am running five pairs, so just keep in mind the DD will be a lot higher than what it would be if it was 1-1. One, one. Uh, but we're up to 259, but we're down about 400, or I've seen it over 400. So that's not good, but we'll see what happens. Dragon, uh, as you can see, I've added uh, UJ and EJ, and uh, for some reason, I've noticed that I started this on the H1 time frame. I did, and I think in the manual it says to run it on the 15 minute time frame, and that may be why uh, it is still going, but I'm not sure. Could be wrong, time, time frame may not matter with this robot. Um, then we have Irin's Expert. This is one that I started on 5000 uh, on the 15 minute time frame with default, I think default settings. So no time. Ah, oh, there is a time filter. So I activated the time filter on this. It's not running 24 seven. Uh, so it has been going really, really well. Baby Shark, as we know, it's just an absolute profit machine on the H1 time frame. Uh, grid trend multiplier. Uh, this, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'd use the plug and play version. It's, uh, you know, we're down two hundred and ten dollars and up three hundred and ninety. So really, only well, one hundred two hundred dollars. So. Not sure about that one. Forex Fury, nothing to see here because it only opens trades at certain times. And then we have the Elan. Now this is a an interesting EA. It is Martingale, uh, but it has made eight hundred and twenty nine dollars since it started. Uh, but as we can see here, the lot sizes can be can get quite big. So 0.28 is the biggest that I've seen uh, with this EA. Um, 0.25, and usually it doesn't really hit it. Uh, like it, it's only when there's really big spikes that it hits it. So and I think the these are the settings. So lot exponents 1.25. Try and keep that pretty low. We also want uh, the Mark Gale to work properly, and for it to work effectively, you need to have an exponent high enough in order for that to work. Uh, these are all the settings, there's not really much to look at. Take profit, drop, RSI, and a max because it trades with an RSI, max trades 15. Uh, it it's not using an equity stop, but it is recommended that if an EA has it, that uh, you use it, because then you are not risking your whole 100% of your account blowing overnight, which is not fun to wake up to. And uh, yeah, this is them trading 
live. But still, eight hundred and fifty nine dollars profit uh, is is absolutely insane. So this has been running for ten days, from the seventh to the seventeenth. And we, what we did was re risk a thousand dollars. And we're only running three pairs with Elan. And it has made 859. Wow. So that uh, that pretty much sums up tonight's uh, midweek update video. Uh, yeah. I, I'm really, uh, really, really impressed with Elan right now. It's, uh, it is make a bulk of money. Bulk of money, and the lot size hasn't got too high, like outrageous. Like uh, you see, a lot size on a Martingale EA get to like one lot. Um, that, that's really scary, uh, especially on a live account. And if you don't have a whole heap of equity, uh, it's generally recommended uh, for every thousand dollars in the account to trade with zero point zero one lots at the start. So. Yeah, but uh, I think what I might do if if I have the some monies left over, I'll probably run FX Stabilizer Live. Uh, it seems to be like really slow, but I don't mind that. That's good. Uh, but anyway, uh, that is it from me. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I'll do a end of week update on Saturday when the markets are all closed. Until then, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.